wasn't sure if you still wanted me. Wow. Oh, I've wanted you my whole life. Ever since the first second I looked into your eyes, I knew I'd love you forever. With all my heart. Our latest breaking story, movie star actress Julia Fontaine has broken up with her longtime boyfriend, actor Brandon Chase. We now join the press conference already in progress. Miss Fontaine, why did you choose the Museum of Flying for your press conference? Because I've decided to search the world for a regular guy. What's wrong with the men in Los Angeles? Um, I'm just really sick of the whole Hollywood scene. You know, I just want a, a regular guy. You mean anybody from anywhere could just try out to see if he's your type? And if so, they'll be spending Academy Awards night with you? And hopefully the rest of my life. Isn't it awkward to be dateless just six weeks before the Academy Awards? <laughs> yes, very. That's why I've decided to have an open call for Mr. Wright. I'm turning to the public to help me find somebody special. <gasps> yeah! <clears throat> Julia, what do you think your chances are for winning the Academy Award for Best Actress this year? I really don't think about it. I'm just so honored to have been nominated among such a talented group of actors. Thank you all very much. And thank you. Thank you. It was a wonderful conference. We appreciate it. Thank you. I should have the limb open about 10 minutes. All right? All right, yes. We'll be right down. Thank you. Bravo, bravo. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Think they bought it? Yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. We couldn't have planned it better. Isn't it a little obvious? Listen, honey, I hate to tell you this, but your popularity as America's sweetheart was starting to fade. Some of your fans are beginning to view you as a stuck-up, full-of-herself kind of gal. <laughs> that just doesn't sell tickets. What we needed was this change, going back to that small-town girl from Muskegon, Michigan, the little farm girl that captured America's heart. <laughs> <sighs> You're standing in my son. Uh, your agent called. He wants to do lunch at the Ivy at 1 o'clock. And um, your therapist called. He needs to reschedule for Wednesday at 4. Your masseuse called to confirm the 5 o'clock. And your personal trainer, he's here. He's waiting for you. Did the studio send over the script for my new film yet? Not yet. Did you call them? No, I... Has the chauffeur finished detailing my Rolls Royce for this afternoon? He's about halfway you know, done, but Jane. This is the kind of inefficient work that I just cannot tolerate. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand. Okay, when I say I want something done, I mean I want it done quick, quick, quick. Do you get it? Yes, yes, Miss Fontaine. Oh, a Detective Stone called from LAPD. The guy that was stalking you at the gym a few months ago, he's escaped from county prison. You need to watch the 12 o'clock news. Police and local officials at the L.A. County Prison were stunned today when Max Bronson, better known as Mad Max, escaped from prison this morning. Mad Max was sentenced to two years after stalking Julia Fontaine, the movie actress, and making death threats to her. Hello. Oh. Welcome back to our show. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here again. You look radiant as ever. <laughs> You're too kind. Now, Julia, I know this is your first Academy Award nomination, and I know Hollywood is abuzz with talk of all the nominees and their work, but I'm just so intrigued by this search for a regular guy. <laughs> exactly what are you looking for in this regular guy? Uh, well, I like a guy who's athletic, um, fun to talk to, easy to be with, uh, pays to be responsible, has to have a job. Clearly, Brandon Chase must have had a lot of attractive qualities for you to stay with him so long. 
Uh, there were a lot of things about Brandon that I liked very much, but uh, I just knew we weren't meant to be forever. Okay, okay. This is your first Academy Award nomination. Julia, are you nervous? <laughs> More than you can imagine. When I first heard the news, I thought... <laughs> What is it? I'm Detective Stone, LAPD. Come in, Detective. Thank you. I'm Gordon Gates, Miss Fontaine's manager. How you do, sir? Right. Miss Fontaine, how are you doing? I'm fine. I just want you to know we've had an all-points bulletin out on Mad Max ever since he escaped, but to better protect you, I've assigned a squad car to continuously patrol your neighborhood until we catch him. Thank you very much, Detective. I appreciate your help. Mm -hmm. Do you have any security guards at your house? I have one. Is he armed? Yes. Good. Here's my card. If you need anything, please call. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Thank you, Detective. Um, one other thing. Would it be out of line if uh, I asked for an autograph? No. It's fine. My kid would go crazy if I got out of here without one. No, she signs a lot of them. Why don't you go over to Armani and see if the new line is in yet? Yeah. yeah, and you know what? I want to get a shawl for that dress that I bought at Donna Cameron. Absolutely. Hey, yeah, look, it's Julia Fontaine. Well, I'll be. Let's go get her autograph. <laughs> More fans, come on, let's go. Yep. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. Thank you, Jane. Hide me. Why is this happening to me? that again <laughs> he's absolutely perfect they're gonna go crazy about him in middle america <laughs> you really think he'll do the trick honey if he doesn't do the trick and we don't turn ticket sales around you and me are going to be flinging burgers and mcdonald's oh, God, stop saying that <laughs> all right well I'm ready. Bring him on. What's his name again? Skippy. Skippy? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Julia Fontaine. So am I. <laughs> You're funny. You have the most beautiful brown eyes. Well, thank you. That's very sweet. The press is waiting. Thank you, Gordon. Oh, listen, I don't know about you, but I am scared to death of the press. So what do you say we go out there and face the music together? <laughs> hey, music here? for coming to attend this press conference this afternoon. I'd like to announce, it's my pleasure to announce, that we have finally found, after an international search, Mr. Wright. And I have Julia Fontaine to introduce him. Julia? Julia! Wait, wait. Skippy and I just met for the first time just a few minutes ago backstage, and... All I really have to say is that uh, I hope he's as pleased as I am. Julia! Skippy! Julia! Sir! Skippy! Skippy! How does it feel to know that just in a few short weeks, you'll be going to Oscars night? Unbelievable. I I'm looking forward to going and personally thanking Mr. Oscar for inviting us. Hey, no! Okay. Skippy! Skippy! Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Julia, yes. can you tell us how did you choose Skippy over all the other guys who competed? 
Well, Skippy just had that one wholesome quality more than anyone else, and he's just a, a regular, plain old, normal, down-home kind of guy, and that's what I was looking for. Yeah, wait, Skip wait, me one more question. Skippy, can you tell us, America and the world, what you do for a living? Well, actually, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Let's get her out of here. Everything's gonna be all. Mr. Right. Gates, detective. And how are you holding up, Miss Fontaine? I'm okay, I guess. You can call me Julia. Julia. Julia, there are no new leads on that vehicle to try to run you down. I believe that all these attempts on your life are connected, and I believe we're dealing with a professional here. Not a smart one, but a professional. Hi. Sorry. Left you waiting. Hi. Hi, Jane. Hi, Skippy. How are you? Hi. What a pleasure to have you here. Skippy, we're going to take some publicity shots. Is that okay with you? Yeah, if you can just give me one second. I just have to... No, 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 Skippy. This is Sergei. He is the leading photographer in Europe. He's Julia's personal photographer. So please, just be patient. And the champagne is coming in now. Thank you. Okay. We're going to take some toasts. Would you, you, you catch, catch us? That's good. No, right there. It's perfect. You want to catch us? Good. I'd like to start by making a toast to Skippy and his heroic act of pushing me out of the way of the knife. Oh, Cheers. And I'd like mm. to make a toast to uh, Julia and her new motion picture, The Orange Thank you. <laughs> That's good, huh? One second, I'll be right back. Oh, wait, one more toast for Skippy and Julia. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> so, Skippy, how have you been? Good. Really good. Can you excuse me one second? I just have to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. You know, I'm wearing a dress by Versace on Academy Awards night. Uh-huh. Oh, what are you going to wear? Have you decided what you're going to wear on Oscars? It's the most important uh, night of the year for you. Oh, it's the most uh, amazing night. What are you going to wear? Uh, well, I... Not yours, Skippy's. <laughs> you want my autograph? Thanks, man. You're the greatest. <laughs> Thanks. Larry, what are you doing here? The costume looks great. I told you we'd make a statement. Oh Go, ahead. Go get him, man. Okay. The <laughs> leading lady. The woman who fills us with joy and brings us to tears. The nominees for Best Actress in a leading role are Frances McDormand, Fargo, Kira Sedgwick, Phenomenon, Sandra Bullock, A Time to Kill, Meg Ryan, Courage Under Fire, Julia Fontaine, Destiny. And the winner is <laughs> Julia Fontaine, Destiny! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> um, words cannot describe how honored I am. Um, I have been blessed with so many wonderful and talented people who have helped me come up in this business. I, I want to thank the Academy, um, my manager, Gordon Gates, my mom and dad, and God. Um, but most of all, I'd like to thank all of you wonderful fans out there who keep going to the movies and giving us all the opportunity to do what we love. Thank you so very much.
Julia? Skippy. I got him! Oh. Detective Stone, LAPD. What the hell are you doing? Just take it easy. Take it easy. Don't you know who I am? I know who you are. Let's go. I'll have your badge, man. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, can. I got stuck on the freeway. Did anybody see you come in? I came in through the living room door. It was open, just like you said. So how'd it go? <laughs> it went perfectly. The publicity worked like magic both ways. My movie is number one at the box office, and the Academy felt so sorry for me that I won the Oscar in a landslide. Sounds like you had a good night. Oh, and to top it all off, they arrested Brandon Chase. They think he's behind it all. Who's Brandon Chase? You don't get out much, do you? You got the money? Fifteen thousand in cash. You earned every penny of it. Pleasure doing business with you. Freeze! Hey, what's going Just on? Just shut up! Very interesting conversation, folks. I heard every word. You, turn around. Turn around! Slowly. Put your hands on your head. Do it! Wait until my attorney's through with you. Well, we'll see about that. Right now, you're under arrest for conspiracy to commit a felony, reckless endangerment, filing a false police report, and anything else I can think of to book you on. Please, watch your head, Miss Fontaine. 